All right, Rover. Get out of my chair. You might be the chief dog in the Kobe's house, but you in my chair. You can't sit in my chair. Just get out. Huh? Don't be angry, nobody. Don't be ugly. <laughs> There's our dog. My kids couldn't stand for us not to have a dog. They said it was un-American and unpatriotic for campers not to have a dog. So they give us that dog for Christmas to fulfill our dog needs for the camper. But I thought I'd talk a little bit about... That ain't on me, is it? No. No. I thought I'd talk a little bit about dog etiquette. Now, you see enough about that there. Keep it on a leash and pick up its poop and walk it. Don't leave it in the hot car. Don't leave it in the hot camper and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, and Babe Doll says, and you shouldn't. If you got a dog, you need to take care of it like you take care of yourself for one of your grandbabies. That's the reason we don't have a dog. Dog's harder to take care of than a young one. You know, after a young one gets so old, it can go on to the bathroom by itself. You don't have to take it out every time. When, when we were sticks and bricks, we had dogs. Yeah, Babe Doll said, when we had sticks and bricks, Bricks, we always had dogs. But they were yard dogs, I'll tell you that right up front. But they, they got etiquette, and everybody talks about the etiquette of picking up after your dog, keeping it on a leash, blah, 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 you know, and everything. And Hey, that's good. That's good points. But I'm going to make a point that most dog folks don't think about. There are those of us that love dogs, and we've always had dogs. We've had working dogs. We lived on a farm. I had catch dogs. I had hunting dogs. I've hunted dogs. I went off and got good dogs, and I picked up stray dogs that made good hunting dogs and stuff. But uh, folks that don't live with dogs in the house, don't force your dog on them. Now, we had some friends that mama just loved their little old dog. And uh, we didn't have dogs in our house, but when they'd come visit, she would say, bring, bring, what was it, what was her name, what was the dog's name? You remember the dog's name? John and Janice's dog. I don't. Baby doll even had a special water bowl that she kept down under the sink to water their dog when they come over and they stayed too long. So they wouldn't have to leave. And they had their dog trained. Yeah, they, they had their dog over. trained. It didn't jump all over the furniture. It sat in their lap. A dog like that, you might can take. But don't show up at your neighbor's house. It's not dog folks with your dog at the door and just think you're going to walk in. Have a little respect for them. If they don't have dogs in their house and in their camper, unless they invite your dog, if they invite you, they're not planning on inviting your dog. And unless they invite your dog, don't bring it over. We just went off with some friends, and Melba just loved their little old dog. And uh, they were going to leave it with her sister or something. Her daughter. I was going to leave it with her daughter. And Melba said, no, 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 no. Bring your dog. And we knew they didn't want to be gone from their dog that long and we Melba knew the dog would have uh he was separation than anxiety. Most children. Um, do what? He was cleaner <laughs> than most children. Yeah but yeah but uh, I still don't want to dump it on my furniture or in my bed. Or in her but bed. that's that's the way I I feel. Yeah. I mean if you feel the other way that's okay. That's your choice. But when you come visit those folks that don't that aren't dog crazy. Let me put it that way. Some people are dog crazy. We ain't that dog crazy. Now we like our dogs, but we like our grandkids best. <laughs> but uh, I think most of you follow my drift. If somebody invites you over, just don't force your dog on them. Now, if they invite your dog, take your dog. But if they don't invite your dog, 
You, you know, I don't want a Rottweiler or a German Shepherd or, or a Mastiff in my house or a Great Dane. You know, big dog. But them cute little white dogs? Mama's got a special place in her heart for them cute little white dogs. But do you want one? No. No. She, she, she said no. We tell, are, tell them about. Um, we yard dog folks. I'll just tell you that up front. Tell them about our. But one of our sons that they do have dogs. Tell them about Hank, their first dog. Yeah, Josh, my son. He when he married this little old girl, Christy. She had a sausage dog, wiener dog, named Hank. And uh, he loved Miss Melba, baby doll. He loved to aggravate the tar out. Do what? He loved to aggravate the tar out. You think he aggravated you? He did. He 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 knew. He, they know. They know if you're not dog people. He knew that I wasn't a dog person, and he let me know that I was at his house. How would he let you know? He'd come up and lick my feet. <laughs> lick her on the back of the feet. She'd be sitting in a chair. He'd and come up cold nose. House full of people. Who did you come to? He come cold, old mama. She near about jump out of the chair. But um, that was that was her. Her, her and Hank had his special relationship. I, hey, but I did, they had him I about did sixteen really years. Like him for that reason. What? I did really like him. She for did that really reason, like eventually. him. Eventually, she said. But, but uh, in Josh's house, not mine. In what? In Josh and Christie's house, not mine. They had him sixteen years. When he first got married. He he didn't like to have dogs inside either, and um, uh, he was, you know, he something was said about her getting rid of her dog, and I told him no. He knew she had that dog when they they married and they met, and that he needed to just hush about that dog. That was he knew about it, knew she had it in the house, and he's got two now. <laughs> so you got two now. I tell you, funny dog but story. They're really good with them though. She she found her a breed that researched it and all that kind of stuff. And they were the Haberdees. He's talking about my daughter-in-law, not me. Yeah, Christy found her a Haberdees. And they ain't supposed to shed. And they ain't supposed to do anything. Well, Josh was just going to buy one, ordered it. And whenever he talked to the lady up there, she wouldn't let them have a dog unless she looked at them. And Christy wanted this dog so bad that Josh flew to Pittsburgh yeah. to let that lady look at him so he could get that dog. So he flew up there and flew back with a dog in one day. And he said, Daddy, ain't this, I think it was a Cuban dog. A Habanese is a Cuban, I think, is what they told me, if I remember it correctly. And it was bred for a lap dog. And uh, he said, Daddy, this is the dumbest dog I've, we've, I, we've ever had. This is a dumb dog. He said, you know how some people are smarter than other people and some people are more gifted athletic? He said, this this dog had to be bred down to be dumb. It's the dumbest dog. He said, they didn't even know how to dig a hole till they bought their son a, a red bone coon hound. He said, that dog talked. What's that dog's name? Daisy. Daisy. How to dig a hole. They got him another little dog. That Daisy's learned a lot of stuff from that other little dog. But uh, he said that's the dumbest dog that you ever seen in your life. So dogs, uh, dogs are like people. Some are smarter than others, and some of us ain't as smart as others. So uh, we've had some smart dogs, and we've had some mediocre dogs. And I didn't let a dumb dog stay around too long. We had this one dog, little old blue healer. You could show it something one time. I think it was smart as I was. You can show it something one time and it could do it near about. We like dogs. Now my oldest son, he's a lab man. He's had two two labs that died from old age. They'd get so gray around the beard, around the mouth muzzle, get where they wouldn't hardly move or nothing. He's had two two labs to die of old age. But they got them some German Shepherds the other day, puppies. My granddaughter has got this him hind 57 named Carter. That's our first great grandchild is Carter. 
Why he bought Carter a coat? I've lost my mind buying clothes for dogs. But I knew it would make Madeline's day whenever I Papa bought that coat for her, his grand dog. I, I reckon it's my great grand dog. I won't call him a grand dog. I'll call him my great grand dog. So, uh, she wants to know whether to bring a sewing machine or not. We talk about grand, grandbabies going to come over in a little while. I got to go pick them up. And one's wanting to bring a sewing machine, let mama help her sew a little bit. Let mama help her sew a little bit. But we're going to have the other two so the sewing machine to be in the way. Yeah, but back to Carter. He's a pretty little black white dog. And we see him every once in a while. And when I'm up there at the house, he knows I'll fight with him over his toy. And if I walk by the couch, he'll get that toy and stand up over the back of the couch and want me to fight with him over that toy. So, uh, yeah, I do like dogs, but uh, I like other people's dogs. Unless, now if I, if we men baby settle down and get back in the stick and brick, and we got a yard, we got 20 acres out in the country, I'm going to have me a yard dog. I'm going to have me a beagle. I like beagles. I might have a beagle and a blue healer. Two of them. I like both those breeds of dogs. Beagle you can hunt. You can make a good yard dog and you can hunt him. And uh, blue healer, a good watch dog, good yard dog. You take care of your stuff. So, I still can't believe I bought Carter a coat. Mama bought her. Mama bought her and Carter matching Christmas pajamas one year. I start, I, I went around yesterday with a outfit in my buggy all over pennies and then put it up. Who was, who was it for? Carter. It was for Carter. She shopped for Carter. She, she was shopping for grandbabies yesterday and she almost bought Carter something. We like dogs. But uh, if somebody invites you over, don't force your dog on them. If they invite you and your dog, it's all right to take your dog. But if they just invite you and you know they ain't dog folks, don't show up with your dog. Leave him in the camper with the air conditioner running. Leave him in the car with the air conditioner running. And Leave I'll, him staked outside. Another thing with your dog, when you take your dog out, respect the other campers and don't let them poop right where they, somebody might walk. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to pick that up. You're supposed to have them little baggies. Yeah. Pick that you're up. You're supposed to, but some people don't. Some people don't. No, they don't. All right. That's our dog video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't force your dog on somebody else. I'm glad I made this journey. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.